to One Sports and One Sports Plus coverage of the classification match between Rubisco and Choco Mucho. Rubisco coming into today's game, they are 0-4 in the standings. Meanwhile, Choco Mucho is 0-3. So both Philippine representatives are winless. The starting lineup of Rubisco yesterday lost to Nakhon Ratchasino to make that last Monday in the quarterfinal matchup. Well, if you look at the starting lineup, it's the familiar six that you see, but they're using, and they're using Laxina, which is what the, the six they used yesterday as well. Meantime, you look at Choco Mucho coming off a loss against Supreme Sean Buri, but they did give the ties a good fight, especially in the second and third sets. We see Gina Wong getting the nod to start once again, like yesterday. Mai Lin Ban, obviously, she must be in the starting yeah. lineup after a great performance yesterday. A very formidable lineup. Yep. You know, this is going to be a very nice match, a beautiful match. And, you know, we're just hoping both teams just play relaxed, pressure is off, and they just want to enjoy themselves. And again, I said earlier, put on a show for us. Coach Oji Mamon calling the shots for Choco Mucho. Meanwhile, it's uh, Jorge Edson Sosa de Brito calling the shots for Rebisco. And you can see Coach George Pasqua is That's on right. the bench of Choco Mucho. <laughs> With a totally new, more mature <laughs> look. Yep. Kalei Mao coming off a spectacular 16-point performance. 33% uh, from the field. Meanwhile, Miguel Belen also a great performance uh, for her three points. Started in all three sets for Rebisco. And you know the challenge for Team Rebisco, talk about the youngsters in uh, Belen, Laxina, and so on. Of course, they want to show their wares here. You know, they're playing against the likes of MJ Phillips and Kalei Mao. So them being younger, you know, they're, they're more fired up, I think. I wouldn't say that the uh, Team Chocomucho is not fired up, but of course, you know, kids, they, they, they want to prove something. So yeah. let's see. And there are many kids in this Rubisco lineup that uh, obviously want to step up big. Ivy Laxina is in this lineup. Uh, Faith Nisperos, Aimee Hernandez, Micaela Belen. Yeah. So a lot of young up and comers uh, that you might see in the UAAP next year uh, and, and maybe in the, in the future in our first professional league. Premier Volleyball League as there you see an error right away by Tin Tiamzon. As she is faced with a twin tower in Laxina and Manabat, so she wanted to drop it, but it was short. Tiamzon coming off a three-point performance yesterday. Started in the first and third sets of the match last Monday versus Supreme Chonburi. Camille Cal with a good serve. Underhand set. Paat. Oh, good save. Great pancake save right there. But what about the matchup between Nerva and Makandili? Makandili. That's something to watch That's as well. Good. Two excellent. It seems like Nerva is a you know carbon copy of <laughs> Makandili, just a little taller. That's right. What a save. And she has so much years ahead of her. Yep. But, but you know what's nice is I'm sure she's learning a lot from Don Makandili. Oh, from watching Don yesterday. I mean, yeah. it, 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 she doesn't have to look. Much farther than, sorry, not yesterday. I keep preferring to yesterday. Last Monday. No, yeah. What a performance by Don Makandili. She was just in every difficult play uh, yesterday in all, uh, sorry, last Monday in all the sets. Classic Don Makandili. Yeah. We're not surprised. We followed her career throughout the years and she is just getting better and better. Superb. There's a tip right there. Sent right back. Manabat attacks Laxina with the up. There's a push by Belen, and she connects. Yep, reading the defense well, seeing that Del Palomata is the one supposed to cover. That's actually a very smart tip for the youngsters. Look at that. So this is just for bragging rights, by the way. For those, for, for those of you who just uh, opened your TV set, this is just for bragging rights. See? Both teams will finish um, six or seven after the competition. The winner, though, the, the champion, of the 2021 Women's ABC. We'll get to represent uh, the region in the upcoming 2021 FIBB Volleyball Women's Club World Championship. So that's what's really at stake. Yeah. For whoever comes out on top. What a set by Cal and Manaba drills that one in. Yeah, beautiful combination play for Team Rebisco and Manaba really just takes advantage. Finding that seam in that defense. 
But you know, I was so excited, Eric, when I got a message, a text message yesterday that we are covering this mm -hmm. match. I thought we were done for with uh, Team Philippines. So it's, you know, it's a great surprise of for course. the volleyball fans. Because they can't get it up. Yeah. I mean, just reading all of the stuff on social media, Filipinos back and forth discussing how can our teams be better. And they're so abreast with the situation. They know what the status is, how both teams came to be, and the coaching staff and all that. And you like how engaged yeah. volleyball fa fans are. I mean, yeah, the fans are the ones actually responsible for the surge in, in the sport, right. which is good. What a difficult set right there for Wong, sent over easily by Meneses. Wong again. Good rally. Paat with a dump. Oh. Almost a good save by Yerba, unable to get it high enough for a second touch. That's a perfect time, the uh, tip there, no? Using the blocker's hand. Look at that. <laughs> Luxina wish she had more air time. <laughs> and that's why Miley Bad is so, such a great attacker. I mean, so many ways to hurt you. She can, she can go with a soft touch with an off speed down the line. And the fact that she's a lefty is hard, yeah. to, it's hard to figure out. Yeah, and for the Mylene Pat fans, you're happy with the way she's performing here in the AVC because there's a lot of talk of how better she could have performed in the last PGL. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she obviously, she's making up for that, playing well here in the AVC. Although a service error from Pat this time around. Not too much wrist action there. Coming from Mao is good. Great connection there, but that came off a great pass from her, from Mao herself, and she gets the back row kill. And Mao is just, I mean, you see her build, strength, yep. athleticism, but she's also a good defender. Two blocks yesterday against Supreme Tonguri. Yeah, and she's a decent passer. You know, that's that's actually one of the more important things is if you can pass well, you're a good offensive player, but if you can pass well, that's you. Back to back, right on to Kalei Lau with another kill. Oh, we expect Kalei Mao to really give her all here in this yep. tournament, in this, actually in this match. Tip by Meneses. And Mao with an easy put away, would have been, but it went wide. Or make, nope, it was an overreach yeah. on her part. And it also seemed like she touched the net. <laughs> Over aggressive there. Too eager. And like what we mentioned, there are no, uh, you know, towel boys, yeah. or girls here, which is why the, it's the players, Nierva, who's drying up a wet spot on the floor. Just for obviously um, safety, health protocols. Yeah, less people, yep. less people involved in the behind the tournament scenes or during the game. Kalei Mao making up for the error earlier. Well, she is pumped up yeah. here today. <laughs> Maria Meneses on your screens. Four points, yes, on uh, last Monday. Also a good tournament for her. Oh, yeah. Meantime, Faith Nisperos with a kill. Well, Faith Nisperos has really, you know, started out in all the, almost, I think almost all the sets. And she, why not? She has been solid and consistent for a very young player. Yeah. Six points, 35% from the field last Monday. Although, she did come off the bench last Monday, but started in the third. Mm. No, these are just, you know, lineup changes yeah. to get others involved. But, you know, she like the first game she started, so you know that, that that's how much confidence Coach Jorge has in her. And it seems like Coach Jorge, I mean, you can see from the composition of his starting lineups, he, he favors and, and uh, 
likes the, to give the younger players a lot more exposure. Yeah. Especially in this, these international tournaments. Nitae Maraño with an attack. Yeah, and I think also responsibility. You know, the challenge for them is uh, I'm going to put you there together with the, like the likes of Maraño and Manaba. Yeah. So it's, uh, how are you going to respond to the challenge? There's a block against Belen. Well, it looked like it did not clear from that angle. So Choco Mucho on top by one. Seven serving six. Very close match. Belen again. And she's blocked again. Palomata so far has the number of the youngster, Micaela Belen, and we are in our first technical timeout. 8-6, Choco Mucho over Rabisco, set number one. Here at Terminal 21, Kalei Mao and the rest of Choco Mucho looking pretty good right now with a two-point advantage over Rubisco as the two teams meet for the very first time in the 2021 Asian Women's Club Volleyball Championship. Uh, this is just for this is just a classification match to determine who will finish the tournament sixth and who will finish seventh. And so far, a very good game. It's pretty close just yep. by two. Belen. And you love the fact that they keep trying to go back to Belen to build her confidence because they obviously need her offense if they are to get ahead here in this match. And they know what she can do. You know, she hit it into the net um, previously, but they know what she can do. You're right. They're giving her confidence and she gets the point. What a great receive by Makandili. Yeah. Kept alive, great effort on the part of Rubisco. Here comes Mao. Kale Mao, really. The, the, the way she pounds the ball is something else. Yeah. I mean, we were all excited when we found out that she was uh, part of the lineup, and you know, she's proving her worth. Speaking of, Kale Mao at the service area. Before coming here, she was playing for Puerto Rico, or one of the club teams in Puerto Rico called. Changos de Naranjito. Yeah, we, we were mentioning that in that first game. Her journey to Thailand, she had to go through a different country. So <laughs> imagine how, how tiring that was for her. Uh, meantime, Choco Mucho continuing to pull away here. An error from Mafeth Misperos. It's now a four point run from Choco Mucho from down 6 7. They are now 10 7. Well, they're, they're doing that with good floor defense. We mentioned good passing, and you know, Kalei Mao able to score a majority of the points there. And good coverage as well. I mean, you, you see every attempt here by Rubisco coming back with interest. That time around, though, finally, Ivy Laxina getting involved in the offense. Great set. We have to say great set by Cal. He's actually did it Santiago chasing that, but Cal had the right thing, the presence of mind to send it to Laxina. Cena, nine points in the loss last Monday versus Nakon Rachisima. 73% from the wow. field. That's how effective Laxina was. Uh, so it ought to be no surprise if Rubisco goes to her a lot more as Manabat connects this time. <laughs> Don't look now. It's just a one point game. A couple of straight points for Rubisco in Tiamzon. You can see here in the first set there. Well matched. Yeah. <laughs> Evenly matched so far. No one pulling away. I mean, they tried to, but here comes Rubisco. Chance to tie here for the ladies in red. Paat. Another oh. amazing play by Paat. And you like the way she sells it, you know, total approach and then just a yeah. drop. <laughs> With that swing and okay.
Mighty Bot still at it, picking up where she left off yesterday. In time, Del Palomata serving. Oh, oh that was Camille Cow was lucky that wasn't called a double because that pretty obviously was a miss set. But you like her attitude, you know? So yeah, she was, that was a daring move. Yeah, it was really daring. It goes to show her character <laughs> as a setter. And you like that because she's, again, she's still she's still young, one of the younger ones in the team. And, you know, if she, if she wants to set this set, no matter how hard it is, you know, the, the, you like the attitude. She's going to go far, really. Meantime, service error from Del Palomata. Uh, makes it a two-point game here. Belen, also very, uh, pretty successful in her serves. Had a couple of aces also. Ooh. What a quick set there. Wong connecting to Mereces for the finish. <laughs> Let's look at that reaction. This pump. Oh. <laughs> oh, and credit again. We, we're talking about Kalei Mao and yep. the way she passes. Look at that. Perfect pass. Oh, that was clearly in Mylene Paat with a service ace. You mentioned she had two service aces from last Monday against Supreme Chonburi. And she's still at it. <laughs> a timeout here by Rubisco. They are down by two. They have still been trying to catch up here. They've down by as many as four points. 10-6. Yeah, but Team Chocomucho actually doing a good job in keeping them at bay, forcing Coach Jorge to call the first timeout of the game, of the set. Coach Oji Mamon, formerly the coach of the Tigresses, then moved back to the Tigers of USD. Yeah, and you can see, while you were saying that, you can see Dina Wong playing around, goofing around, <laughs> enjoying. Cal, nice setup to Laxina. A battle at the net. It's a setup job for Chamzon. One to play oh, good for save. Wong. Nice save. Free ball for Choco Mucho. Wong goes to Paat. Another shot. Yes. This time around, falls short. She was feeling it, you know, she asked for it and finally got it, but it falls short. <laughs> Look at her, re her reaction. She wants that back. <laughs> she wants that attempt back. But she had the right thing in mind, yep. no? You see that hole behind the blockers. It's always been there. <laughs> Laxina set to serve out of National University. Back row, Mao. Is that out? Yep, it was just long for Kalei Mao. I thought we were going to say Kalei Mao's about to tell my Yipa, this is how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she hits it wide, yep. So Rebisco within two. Good serve. Over received. Cal, back set, Manabat. Tip by Meneses, put up by Manabat. Uh, it's a net violation, seems. Going to be called against Choco Mucho. Yeah, I think it's on Tin Kiamzon. But you like the exchanges, you know, the, if they can, they go to the middle blockers, like getting in, everyone involved, but we expect. At, this, at least the next few rallies, Abby Marania to get a, a touch. Now, so one point game now, chance to tie for Rebisco. Yamzon. Put up by Laxina. Comes Belen. Cross court. Yes. Sorry, that's Miss Peros yeah. ties the game at 14. Eluding the blockers, just finding that tough angle right there. 
And when Don Makandili couldn't get to that. And you don't you don't say that very often. Yeah. The great angle from Faith Disperos to tie the game at 14. Much of a run it seems for Rabisco. Can't seem to grab the lead here. Ready, ready. One, two, one. Good serve. Cal. Difficult set for Maraño. Could not get it across the net. Yeah, the timing not there for Maraño and Cal. The back-to-back -back errors for Rabisco and Chocomucho back up by two here in set number one. just can't seem to get over the hump. They make a run. Uh, seems like it was a three-point run, but they give up two straight points. So Choco Mucho, again, sitting on a two-point advantage. Well, yeah, you're right. Well, they, when they tie the game up, they commit an error, which is what you don't want to see if you're Team Rubisco, because, again, this is bragging rights for you. Although, fortunately for Rubisco, Choco Mucho there, Tim Kiamzot with a service error, so the game is still close and could swing either way. Yeah. Again, that, that's how even the match they are so far in this first set. Abimaraño scored two points in the loss last Monday versus Nakhon Rachisima. That's not coming back. Off the foot of Kale Mao. Well, we are tied. So right now, we will see whether or not, oh, that was Cal, with that good read, whether or not Team Rubisco can grab the lead here in this first set. Remember, only Rubisco has won a set. Only Philippine team that has won a set so far in the women's AVC. Chocomucho has yet to win one. Rubisco winning a set against Zeti Su. Go ahead. Yeah, so when you're talking about who's hungry, obviously Choco Mucho is Mucho. for a set. Mao, I was blocked at the net. Mao tries again, sent right back by Mana, but Mao, that's so wide. Oh. Mao is off the mark today. A couple of errors already on attacks for Kale Mao. But luckily they call a net violation. There will be a challenge, our first of the day. <laughs> but it did seem pretty obvious based on the quick replay that there was a touch at the net. We'll see. Yeah. Finally confirmed here. So actually it's Pepito who's um, being the libero right now. Let's uh, see. Yep. There. Yes very clear as a net violation so very fortunate twist here in favor of Choco Mucho as uh, that clearly outside spike counted as a point yeah so lucky break for team Choco yeah. Mucho obviously Din Din Manabat isn't happy about that <laughs> again unable to claim the lead talking about team Ibisco Misperos. Wong goes to Mao again. Misperos will be up. Cal back set. Manaba. Oh. Yes. Picture perfect back row attack for Manaba. Nobody home. Look at that. Great setting by Cal as well. 
I mean, you see how far Kalimau and the blockers were from Manabat. Beautiful set. That beautiful finish by Manabat. Game is tied. 17. Gemma Galanza checking in for the first time today. So we don't have numbers as well. So when they, when they do substitutions, normally we have numbers. numbers right. Yeah. So we don't have that as well. So lesser touch points, yeah. I guess, <laughs> for safety and health purposes. Mao gives Chocomucho the lead right back. Emphatic kill for Clay Mao. In case you guys are wondering, Clay Mao is 6'1". It's amazing how you know, the way she jumps, the way she moves. So agile, yeah. so explosive. Maranya with a tip, but she touches. She falls straight into the net. Is it a net touch? She lands on it. Yeah. <laughs> and she acknowledges. <laughs> no arguing fall. here. <laughs> but so far, they can't seem to find that connection. Yep. Talking about uh, Maranya and Cal. Back to a two-point lead for uh, Choco Mucho. Oh. Uh, it's Belen with the attack. Ball kept alive. Free ball for Rabisco. Marano. Oh, there you go. Makes up for the error earlier. Scores a point. Finally getting the right timing. A great set by Cal and Marano makes no mistake. This is reminiscent of her VLSU days yes. at move. Just change it jersey to green. It's you know that's all over like, then. Like you're back <laughs> at the Araneta Coliseum. <laughs> Kyle losing the Josh to Paat and a point back to Choco Bucho. And we have to say, Maran is not the tallest of middle blockers, but if she goes for that running, she has mastered it. And five nine. She's listed at five nine. Exactly, not the tallest of middle blockers. Yeah. And when she goes for that running, it's like she's six one or six two. <laughs> And at the angle of her attack. Belen with the drop. Oh, good save here. Nice save there from Wong. And finished by Laksina. <laughs> you like the effort. Yeah. That was a smart set, actually. Chocomucho scrambling still on defense. So a quick set by Cal. You have to be impressed with Camille Cal. I mean, such a young age, already making great decisions on the floor. Yeah. And like many, actually, it, it was my, it is my first time to cover her as a player. Is she 20 years old? Yeah. Coming off uh, high school. High school, four feet uh, championship in uh, the Lady Bullpups National University. That's the bad with the error. There's a timeout on the floor as the score is tied once again. Although it's always been this team, Choco Mucho, <laughs> getting the advantage. And uh, Coach Oji Maman obviously doesn't want that to happen, so timeout. Uh, we're down to the final stretch of the set. Whoever comes out scoring here, obviously will have the greater advantage of winning the set. Classification match between Rubisco and Choco Mucho, the first time in the 2021 ABC. These two teams are meeting. Rubisco is 0-4, while Choco Mucho is 0-3. Yeah. So you know both teams want to get their first win of the tournament. <laughs> What a time for a service ace to come there. Finally, Finally Rebisco right. gets the lead, the upper hand here in the first set. Cal with the service ace. He didn't score in uh, their game against Nakon Rachisima, but played and started in all three sets. And we always see when, they, when there's a timeout and a uh, huddle, Coach Jorge personally talks to Kyle, you know, for guidance and whatnot. Sure. 
Paat with the attack error and don't look now, Noreen. It's a two-point lead for Rubisco. And for the Rubisco fans, what a time for that to yeah. come towards the latter part of this first set. And surprisingly, too, from somebody who has been playing very well, Mylene yeah. Paat. Paat blocked again. Gets it across on the second attempt. Cal sets it up. They go right to the middle. Laksina makes it a three-point lead for Rodisco. And another quick timeout by Coach Oji. Yeah, you know that slow-mo of you see the blocker. Slow to react, just one blocker. And Laksina has been uh, very effective yep. in the middle, so you can't just have one blocker. A great connection between uh, Cal and uh, Laksina. Not surprising, they played together in uh, high school. Yeah, the familiarity is yep. obviously there. So, despite the fact that, because we've seen this a lot, right? Um, it's Setters find it harder to set to tall players for some odd reason. Well, it really depends because you, you do that in practice. You know, it doesn't matter. You, you try to master the height of a particular player, let's say Manabat or Laksina, you know, or Maranio. That's how setters become good setters. You know, if you, if you know the particular comfort set of yeah. a player. And you, you learn it in practice. And she's picked it up. I yeah. mean, Cal is 5'10", and Laksina is 6'1". And they seem to have connected really well. That's right. There's an attack from Tiam Zon. It goes outside, so it's set point. Oh, it's challenge. Rubisco with this challenge. <laughs> but the call was outside. Yeah. The first referee. Oh, the challenge is a, a block touch, so a check ball. Uh, in, in, our, in our lingo, it's check ball and power Yeah. So let's see if there was a touch from any of the blockers of uh, Rubisco. Well, right now you're hoping that it did touch a blocker's hand. But since it was called out, you have actually nothing to lose yep. talking about Team Chocomucho. Uh, here's uh, the review. Oh, no, That's touch. a very good close-up. No touch, mm -hmm. it's outside. So the disco is at set point here, 24-20. What a time for them, no? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's always been them catching up and once they hit, hit the 20, 2020 mark, no looking back, no yes. turning back for them. That's when they pull away. Jamjong tries again, and this time connects. Yep, she makes up for her previous hitting error, and they're not out of it. Well, you have to say, what a good set there by Dina Wong, just a blocker and late to react. At three points in the game against Supreme Chon Buri Kim Tiam Zon out of DLSU. Jel Kayuna, former Lady Tamarao, is in the game for the first time. Oh, good serve then. Oh. A push from Baat. Chance to finish it off. Manabat is blocked. Laksina will set it up. Back row attack there from Galanza. Yeah. So two set points saved by Choco Mucho. Timeout by Coach Jorge Edson Souza de Brito. Well, you know, normally Galanza, that's her ex area of expertise as well, but she wasn't prepared. She was, she was caught off guard there. two opportunities and Abid Marano saying isa na lang, isa lang, kailangan natin. They still have two more set points here. Yeah, and I heard that term of killer instinct that's, mm -hmm. that's finish this. This is ours. Remember, Rubisco has won a set against Jeffy Sue in this tournament. Chokomucho 
has none. Yeah. Let's see, Abisko, can they finish it off? They go quickly to Laxina, and she gets the finish for Abisko. Set number one already in the bag for Rebisco as they beat Choco Mucho 25 uh, 22. Well, Rebisco, they just finally got their groove towards the end of that first set. We, as we were mentioning earlier, they were always chasing Choco mm -hmm. Mucho, but they love the number 20. That's where they pulled <laughs> away. And it was yeah. at the very, you know, there was a timeout at 20 all. Yeah. And that's when, when well, during the serve of Camille Kyle, that's when they just went all the way that's to true. a uh, set point. She had, she, you know, that stretch, she did serve pretty yeah. well, challenging the floor defense of Choco Mucho. And we have to mention, it was Laxina really mm -hmm. playing strong towards the latter part of the set. And you're seeing some of those highlights right here. Kalei Mao also involved in the offense slightly in the middle part of uh, set number one when Choco Mucho had control. Yeah, but you know, for Choco Mucho, these, they committed some errors that were crucial in this first set. My lead pass, yeah. with, you know, some errors. Din Tiam Zone with a uh, hitting error. So these are the things that you want to correct in this, coming into the second set. Because again, Choco Mucho is yet to win a set. So you want them, or they, I'm sure they want to win a set, at least looking at the second set. That's right. But uh, like what you mentioned, uh, Laxina has been a great part of the offense of Rubisco along with Manabat. And Camille Kyle, I mean, her contributions obviously cannot be underscored. Yeah, look at the numbers. It's pretty close. 12 atta attacks as compared to 10. Opponents' errors, we talked about errors. Choco Mucho with 11. That's, that's huge. They had better defense in terms of blocking, but as a whole, Ribisco just wanted this first set, stayed in the match slowly but surely, but they grabbed it towards the latter part of that first set. 25 22. Ribisco with set number one against Choco Mucho. Back here at Terminal 21 for the classification match between Rabisco and Choco Mucho. The first time these two uh, teams from the Philippines are meeting. And Rabisco getting set number one against Choco Mucho. They're a second, the second set they've won so far in the tournament. Difficult angle from Manabat, but she still gets it across. Well, if you're Team Rabisco, you want to start up out strong. You want to finish this in three sets. No? Chokomucho, we talked about it in the first set. They had their opportunities, had their chances, but just way too many errors. They gave away 11. 11 errors mean 11 points to your opponent, so that's one thing you have to check. Mikaela Belen, a fan favorite. Serving, that's wide. Speaking of errors, Trubisco only had, what was it, eight? Eight. eight in the first set, and MJ Phillips on your screens. Yeah, but one thing that, that uh, Choco Mucho and their fans have to be happy about is the blocking. They outblock this team, Team Rebisco. So that's one thing you want to work on more, get more blocks and more stuff. Service ace for Choco Mucho from Del Palomata. <laughs> Finding that uh, that space behind Dindin Manabat. So, Maxina Manabat just getting some pointers from the coaching staff. Two serving one. 
Del Palomata started in all three sets versus Supreme Chon Buri and scored three points. There's a drop attempt, and it's good. Well, Ina Wong was there, but could not control that. Yeah, you can see the respect. Pincho Kumucha has for Didin Mana, but three blockers went up for that. And how about so far? Very good start here in set number two. Well, she has been the consistent one. Yep. That's got to be a violation of some sort. Very tentative play from Team Chocomucho. Yep. Great effort as well by Maraño to be active at the net. But you know, you know, my Abby Maraño, she wants to finish this in three. She's the type <laughs> of player that you heard it earlier. Killer instinct, she yeah. was telling her teammates. Both teams were their fair share of early errors. Yeah. Keeping the game tight. Three all, set number two. Good serve. Nerva will set it up for Nisperos. That's outside. No check ball. You were talking about errors. Add to that. Faith Nisperos right now not in her element. Yeah, you can see that slow mo. The, the follow through wasn't wasn't there too long. Cal setting it up. Back to Nisperos. Had to give her a break. Underhand set. Mao. Cal again. Back to Nisperos. Oh. Yes. Hey, you like you really like what Cal is doing. You know, you're right. Though, giving her her teammates a chance to make up for an error. Right. Did it with Belen earlier, now with Nisperos as well. Try to keep her attackers, the confidence high, so that when time comes, they can deliver. For all, set number two. Wong going to Paat. Little confusion there, a tip by Belen. <laughs> they get a break too. <laughs> They'll take it. They get the free point off of a broken play. Choco Mucho really not in sync to start set number two. I mean, as bad as Rubisco is playing, Choco Mucho is still unable to convert and turn it around. No, no good first balls for them so far as well. Yeah. Cal, there you go. she goes to the middle. Good dig. Mao, beautiful setup for Kalei Mao. Finally, some semblance of offense from Choco Mucho. Yeah, you like the way she kind of glided and directed yeah. the ball no, behind the blockers over there. Yeah, that's what I'm so impressed about, is that explosiveness and athleticism, the way you control your body in the air and then that soft touch. It's amazing. And that last minute change, and yeah. she makes it look nice. Right. <laughs> That's a, how you, you know, she epitomizes being an athlete. Oh. A nice tip there by Nisperos. Ball still alive. Mao this time connects still. Yeah. Back to back boys for Kalei Mao. Well, she wants to get more involved right now yep. in terms of offense. They need her offense. Yep. She should be. She and Phillips, we talked about that off the air earlier in the ring. They have to be really more involved if Choco Mucho is to take over in this match. Yeah. And I think Phillips hasn't really had a decent look True. at the at, at a attack point. Phillips only one point in that loss versus Supreme. And you know she's more than that. Of more than one attack point. Mao. Well, good take. Cow. Back row. Manapat. Rejected. And that's what happens when you get Kalei Mao involved. She's, she becomes just more active on the floor. And she is infectious. Yeah. It's actually Meneses losing that. The best blocker of the PBL. That's right. Leah Meneses. First middle blocker PBL 
open conference. Ooh. And don't look now. We were talking about how Choco Mucho started out like they were napping, they slow. Uh, right now, they turn it around pretty quickly, up by three in the first technical timeout of set number two. favor of Choco Mucho. And they're familiar with this position, up by three, up by four. That's where they were in set number one before. I mean, they controlled majority of set number one, but after 20 all, Rabisco took over and pulled away. Let's see this time around set number two in arena if Choco Mucho can hang on in there. And you were saying that. Look at this, Cal. We've never seen that yet, at least in this, in this tournament. That's the first time. And she gets the point. Can you imagine a 5 10 setter yeah. consistently doing stuff like that, along with the many other spectacular things she's been doing? And she doesn't look like, you know, she's 5 10. <laughs> with the way she's moving, you know, she, you yeah, think very, she's very a bit agile. smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Pa that is dug up. Battle at the net, won by Kalei Mao. No. She won the uh, physical battle, but I think there was a net violation because the point goes to Ribisco. Oh, they, over, yeah, reach. they call overreach. <laughs> Coach Oji Mamon cannot believe it. <laughs> I wish she didn't have the mask because you see how the dry yeah. the <laughs> smile is. She won the physical battle, that you see there, but uh, there's an overreach called by the first referee. So. Yeah, well, it, it's clear that slow mo she did overreach, <laughs> so it's a good call. <laughs> so one point game here. What a serve by Nisperos. Wow! Oh, what a dig. Belen with a tip, saved by Paat. Struggle there, but awesome, terrific job by Makandili on the second touch. Phillips with the up. Mao going up. That tip is just, wait a minute. Look wide, but there's a check ball. Yep. I'm pretty much sure that it clipped the blocker's hand because it landed out. It was way out. But take a look at the save. Yeah. And here's the Mao tip. It went out, but according to like what you were saying, Nuleen, it is a touch at the net. Well, Choco Mucha will take it. Why not? Back to a two-point advantage. Nine serving seven. The pass. There's Belen attacking. Coverage a little slow from Paat. And here comes Rubisco once again, cutting the lead to one. Deja vu. Well, after that, you can see a very frustrated Mylene Paat trying to discuss positions or positioning with the blockers. Okay, Ale Belen on your screens. 19 years old, the youngest player in the lineup for Rebisco. He stands 5'7. Oldest player has to be Rea de Maculangan at 30. So you can see really a mix yeah. of players, Mar the ages. Marano, by the way, is 28. In case you get you, you the fans want to feel a little old, Marano's <laughs> already 28. So if you've been watching her since she was in college, you're older now. <laughs> 28. Still a lot of volleyball. If oh, you can yeah. Take care of you know no injuries and stuff. One, two, 
Good, Good pass, to see. Yeah. Belen attacks and scores. We like it when when a player gets a good pass and then they give her the ball and then she gets the kill. It's like, okay, it's all me today. <laughs> <laughs> it's all me in that play. Well, offensive Chokumucho has quieted down a bit. Chance to tie here for Camille Cal and Rubisco. Mao. Woo! Look out. That's her version of telling you, Eric, what a quiet. <laughs> what? Here's some noise. Take a look at that approach. And the way she puts it, you know, all of her, the way she angles her body so that a lot of power comes down on the ball, it's amazing yeah. to see. Back Ooh. to a two point lead for Choco Mucho. Free ball here for the ladies in blue. Wong setting up Phillips. Yeah, we talked about her, long time coming. MJ Phillips scoring. Yeah, for the Phillips fans, you want to see her, you know, get more sets. Yep. And that's a perfect opportunity to get a point. The Santa Lucia lady realtor. Her mom is from Zambales. Her dad's an American. There's a point from Belen. A bit of background for him these players and you know you're excited when you see all these new additions to our yeah. national team as well of course because i mean aside from the added talent the other players gain experience yeah. because obviously the exposure of the likes of phillips likes of mao well, mao's been playing all around the u.s uh, all around the americas as well playing in puerto rico uh, obviously phillips in college in the u.s so they bring in a lot more experience to and, and that rubs off on the other players. Right. That's right on cue. Phillips scoring there. And also you like it that, of course, with uh, their experience comes the ethics, the work ethics that they bring yeah. to the local players and the level. They will always want to help increase the level of, of yep. play in our country. Back to a three-point lead for Choco Mucho. Cross-court attempt there from Nisperos is turned back. Belen from the back row. Underhand set for Wong. Phillips again. Phillips oh. has come alive. She's got in her groove. Talking about MJ Phillips. That's three straight points for yep. her. And she has helped put up this four-point advantage for Choco Mucho. And you can sense... At uh, Rabisco, they don't like what's happening because just two points away from the technical timeout, and coach uh, Coach Jorge Edson wants to talk things over. Yeah, but we did see that also in the first set. I think Chocomucho also with a four-point lead, if I'm not mistaken, before that 2020 yeah. <laughs> score. So. They're still in uh, familiar territory. Talking about Team Rubisco. Oh yeah, they've been here. <laughs> I'm sure they don't want to be. They don't want a replay of what happened in set number one, where they were in control, leading by as many as four, and they it, all of a sudden they they had the rug pulled out from under them. <laughs> oh, the Palomata. The serve. She had an ace earlier. Yep. Nisperos is blocked. There is a... Let's wait for the official signal here from the first referee, but the point is awarded to Choco Mucho. What, ha what happened there? I was actually also waiting for the official signal. Oh, maybe. Yeah, they, I think it was Manabat with double contact. Yeah. So there you go. Five-point lead for Choco Mucho, their biggest lead of the match. Palumata continuing to serve well. And here's an overreach on the part of Rubisco. Six point advantage for Choco Mucho as we head to our second technical timeout here in set number two.
Nabisco won set number one, but right now they are in trouble. They are down by six against Choco Mucho, a team that right now has momentum solely on their side. And you're talking about it earlier. When Kalei Mao is at the back, who, who, who will take charge next? And they found an answer. MJ Phillips playing well for Choco Mucho. Cal setting it up for Manabat, who's rejected. And the run continues for Choco Mucho. The lead is up to seven. Yeah, for the Choco Mucho fans, you have to be happy because obviously, so far, at least in the first two sets, you can see that they're a stronger team in terms of blocking and they're using it to their advantage. Meneses, obviously we talked about her and her performance at uh, the recent TGL tournament. What a save there by Phillips. Ooh, that was Palomata. Palomata diving, one of the tallest players on the floor. Great effort. And there's a touch, though, from Dina Wong. Finally, the streak ends. And Nabisco is on the board. What about Palomata playing yeah. like a libero? And she, she was serving, so she came from the back row all yeah. the way for the save. And check this out. Del Palomata is 6'3". <laughs> so she's not the most agile of players, and yet able to give that kind of coverage. So obviously she has, you know, like that's what the international tournament does to you, eh? your, in, your timing, your anticipation. Gets better. Gets better. <laughs> and uh, Meneses, happy about that outcome. Take a look at her handiwork. Beautiful play. Yeah, great set. Abby Marano mistimed their block there. So Meneses had all day. You like that reaction. That's that's her version of taunting, really. <laughs> oh, that's an ace. 19-11. This is the biggest lead of Choco Mucho in the match. They're pulling away. And from that timeout, yeah. they were only up by four. Well, defense now of Team Rubisco in this array. Nerva, that's not coming back. Nine point lead now. As Toko Mucho gets to 20. Timeout by Coach Jorge Edson Sosa de Brito. And if, what, what, what do you think the Brazilian coach is telling Rubisco right now? I think they have to settle down because obviously they won the first set. Uh, they're, they're pretty much in the match. But. They, the defense really has to work. Their first first pass really struggling right now. And when we when we talked about earlier the strength of uh, Team Chocomucho's blocking, obviously the coverage of mm -hmm. Team Rebisco needs to work double time and try to you know, keep the balls alive. That's those are the things that they have to address. Well, Paat seems to me she's been targeting Michaela Belen with the serve. Yeah. Looking at Faith Nisperos. There it is, going to Belen again. Better pass though. Manabat is blocked. Manabat gets it back. Nierva to Nisperos. Gets it through. Oh, you like that off a timeout. It's uh, still a bit of a climb right now for Rubisco. Down by eight. Well, if Team Chocomucho can with that surge from 14 to 20, you know Rubisco can do that. Mm -hmm. But Co Coach uh, Jorge with a substitution here, Ray Dimakulangan is in the game for the first time. Also is Kim D. Yeah, obviously he wants a full front row. Back set for Mao, who's rejected. Phillips down the line. Yes, everything going right for Choco Mucho. Well, she's feeling it. We're talking about MJ Phillips and Fanny, and we're saying that she has yet to to get a touch. And when when, when she did finally get that yeah. touch, no looking back for MJ Phillips. Took a while for her to get going, but when she did. She's been unstoppable so far, back to a nine-point lead. Service error from Meneses. Mm, 
wrong server. And it was outside too, so, yeah, so either yeah. <laughs> either way, meantime Galanta is back in the game. Kim D on your screens. Good serve. Wong setting up Mao. Saved by Galanza. Oh, sorry, Di Makulangan. Meneses. Once again, Choco Mucho on the board. They are up again by nine. Well, Choco Mucho has been very successful with those drop shots. That's why Kale Mao often can go to that. But it's Meneses actually getting the point. And Meneses, late in this set number two, she's been a lot more active offensively. Yeah. But that's also made possible with better passing from Team Choco Mucho. Ooh. Second try, same result. <laughs> same result, that's right. <laughs> she was the one who was in the wrong, wasn't supposed to serve yeah. earlier, was called for the infraction. Abi Marano is looking extremely fit yeah. for this tournament. That's Palomata asking for a check ball. She's pretty adamant about it, which is why the coaching staff will challenge. Yeah, she reacted immediately. <laughs> Let's see, though. If she's uh, telling the truth. Oh, yes, clearly. <laughs> no denying it for <laughs> Michaela Belen. Actually, the, for me, the challenge is, I mean, it's really for the block touch more yeah, than anything. Than anything. That's right. Yeah. Before the honesty system. Bakulangan <laughs> <laughs> sets up Belen. The up by Phillips. Dina Wong. I don't know if she's trying to set Palobata, but she gets it across and in. Now it's 10 match points for Choco Mucho. 24 14. But if, if, but if she is a back row center, that's actually a violation. violation. Right? Oh. Well, not yet. Not she yet. wasn't. No, she is. It's that same same three Rotation. in front. <laughs> yeah. So lucky break for Lucky Choco break, Mucho. right? Should have been an uh, overreach. Chance to finish. Phillips from the back row. Not just yet. The Makulangan goes to the middle. That's Kim D connects. Well, the rare combination plays works wonders for Team Rebisco. Still a long way to go, though, for Rebisco. One set point save, nine more to go. Well, you're right, it's a long climb. <laughs> In fact, it's as close to a miracle as you can get if Rubisco can come back and tie this game. Of course, the fans are hoping for that. <laughs> <laughs> All Choco Mucho needs is one good receive here to tie the match at one set apiece. But Cal's a pretty good server. She showed that earlier in this set. Yeah. Mao is blocked to uh, set point saved by Rubisco. Well, I saw Dina Wong fall to the floor. We're hoping she's okay. I think she's okay, no one's reacting. Yep. Two, two excellent defensive plays by Rubisco keeping them in this set, but again, there are eight more to go. Another good receive. Wong goes to the middle and a miscue this time by Palomata. So three set points thrown away by Choco Mucho. And now, Coach Oji Mamon <laughs> addressing Palomata in that mistake. Well, Palomata asking for a B quick. Uh, that's the signal when mm -hmm. it's like a gun. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what seemed uh, like so something was impossible is now probable as Choco Mucho gave up three set points for Bisco, although he still needs seven here to tie and extend this set. All important serves for Cal. Yep. Underhand set, Paat could receive by Nierva. Comes Belen, who's blocked, and it's the defense of Choco Mucho that held up for them. Well, not without a scare, though, from uh, Team Rebisco, but Choco Mucho obviously holds on to win this second set. And it's the first set won by Choco Mucho in the tournament, and we are tied at one set all. We are going the distance yep. here, I feel, because both teams want, obviously wanting to win uh, their first match of an international competition. And take a look at the tally there. 25-22 in the first set, but 25-17 in favor of Choco Mucho in set number two. We'll take a look at some of the highlights. What were the things Rabisco they weren't able to, you know, do in set number two, Noreen? Well, we were talking about the the blocker, the blocking of Team Choco Mucho. As you can see there, you can see blocking working for them. Obviously, their block coverage not working. They're watching. They're uh, you know they're a split second late to react. So this is what they want to correct because you have to give respect, especially uh, give respect to your opponent's um, strength and acknowledge what advantage they have over you. And then you adjust to that. So block coverage is, is one. It's, I think, for me, the most important aspect of their game that they want to improve on. On the uh, part of Choco Mucho, though, I mean, MJ Phillips, one of the big reasons why uh, they were able to pull away, because when she rotated in front, they rattled off at least four points uh, on her watch, on her attack, on her offense. Uh, Kalemao obviously contributing early in set number two. Yeah, you're right. Uh, taking the pressure off Kalemao. MJ Phillips, and you can look at the numbers. Attacks Choco Mucho had more, 12 to 10 opponents' errors, six apiece, and again, it is the blocking of Choco Mucho mm -hmm. that's paving the way for that paved the way for their second set victory. For one set all, Choco Mucho and Ribisco here in the classification match at the ABC 2021. Right back here at Nakhon Ratchasima, our venue for the 2021 Asian Women's Club Volleyball Championships. The winner of the tournament, not this match, the tournament, will go on and qualify for the 2021 FIVB Volleyball Women's Club World Championship. I know that's a mouthful. Uh, but the winner of this match will finish sixth. Obviously, the loser will finish, finish seventh. This is the classification match between two Philippine teams, Rubisco and Choco Mucho so far, one set apiece, Noreen. Yeah, I, I think it's really going to be close because these, these players and the coaching staff, they know their, know each other and you know the strength and weakness. As you see, changes made. Majoy Baron, I think, shooting up here in the third set. So, And, and also to give, the, give it to the players that they, of course, they want to finish the tournament with a victory. Right. And Choco Mucho gets their first set of the tournament. So right. let's see what's going to happen here in the third set. Obviously, their confidence much, much higher. But a service error, it seems, on the part of Rubisco gives the first point to Choco Mucho. You know what? I like what you said earlier, the winner. And we were mentioning it through the tournament. The winner goes to Turkey for the club. It, it gives 
you know, hope for, for teams that want to compete internationally. Yeah. You don't have to be part of the national team. You can be a club. That's true. And, you know, fit in your own team and in other countries as well. So at least it's a welcome opportunity for volleyball players. That's right. That, you know, because obviously a lot of people think you need to be part of the national team to see this, this kind of, be part of this kind of competition, to get exposed to tournaments like that. But not so, not the case. With, with FIBB, they have these club championships yeah. that allow commercial teams to participate and compete against the best in the world. Phillips knocking it in. Well, picking up where she left off in the second set, which is a really very welcome sight to oh, see. Yeah. because. Again, we say, takes the pressure off Kalei Mao. Remember, she only had one point in that loss versus Supreme. So obviously, you know, like what you mentioned earlier, Noreen, she, she, she's, you know, worth more worth than, more that. than <laughs> just a point. Yeah, but we also have to mention, we are playing against a sister team. So the intimidation factor <laughs> against a Thai player isn't it there anymore. And you know, she wants to get her numbers. Mm -hmm. Two serving one, set number three, we're one set all in this classification match. Belen, cross court, yes. Well, she has been silent here in this match, so I expect her to get more points and uh, increase her numbers here. Two-time juniors MVP and a best outside hitter awardee in the UAAP. Very decorated youngster yeah. here. Wong. Well, we haven't seen Aira Stolenada at all right, in this right. game. And yesterday, remember, you know, she kept Dina Wong on the bench since ever since she came in in the second set, Aira Stolenada. So uh, a, a little different sort of a menu <laughs> for Coach Oji Mamon here today. Well, of course, go for Coach Oji, you don't want to take her Dina out because you just won the second set, so normally stick to the, yeah. the six that won you the set. Service error, part of the setter, Camille Cow. She's actually been serving pretty well today. Actually. Three all. Oh, good serve. Cal going to Manabat, what? Saved by Nisperos, going to be a free ball. Wong, one to play, saved by Cal. Manabat gets it over, but not in between the antennas, says our first referee. Yeah, Wong wanting to get the scoring act for Chocomucho. Dina Wong, yep, she did not score in the loss versus Supreme. Yeah, she stuck to the game plan. You rarely saw her, you know, at least even in this tournament, we know Dina Wong loves to do the yep. one-two play, and we, we hardly see her do it, actually. Block on Manabat by, I think it was Meneses, who's all fired up, back to a two-point lead for Choco Mucho. Boy, the solid blocking of Choco Mucho, really. You and know, the keeping them, keeping them, you know, in their game. Meneses is list listed at 6-1. She does a really good job, you know, timing-wise. There's a yeah. service error there on Paat. So I think the tallest here is uh, Del Palomata, right? Have to be. Let me let me confirm because there <laughs> there are a lot. There's Manabat is six two. Listed at least at six two, while Palomata is six three. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, she's she's the tallest out of all of the players. Phillips getting it to just crawl over the tape of the net. And you can see the net moving. So obviously a net fault. Let's see who from whom. On the way down, they caught it clearly. <laughs> So errors on the part of Rubisco allowing Choco Mucho to get a bit of a cushion here. 
Doesn't matter if it's a combination play. The defense of Choco Mucho holding up uh, at the net. A great anticipation. Rhea Meneses really working hard today. Yep. And they were not fooled by my Joy Baron coming in. They concentrated on Manabat. Yeah, that's that's a really great read of your opponent. Uh, it's going to be another easy over here for Rebisco. Meneses up by Belen. Misperos gets it through the block. Much smaller. Dina Wong unable yeah. to send it back. Oh, because of, of the movements. You can see Dina Wong staying the, uh, covering the outer part, the yeah. cross court. And that's a smart hit by Faith Nisperos, sensing that or you, realizing that. You avoid Meneses. Oh, yeah. Go with Wong. Because Meneses just blocked Manaba twice already. <laughs> Not an easy feat. <laughs> yeah. Here's Mao. Seems like Bao is well, well rested. Didn't see much action yeah. in the you know, bottom half of set number two. It was all Phillips. Technical timeout, 8-5, Choco Mucho. Rabisco down by three here in set number three. Although we're tied one set all. Manabat, laser like focus in her eyes. And I, I'm sure though that focus is directed towards Ria Menezes. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped you, me twice, I'm gonna get back at you. <laughs> Take a look here at uh, Nisperos down the line. Yes, so back to back points for Faith Nisperos. Keeping Rubisco within striking distance. Ah, it's actually close. That's why my lead pad looking twice at uh, <laughs> where she's situated. Good serve. There's a net touch there. Has to be a net touch. Yeah. yeah. So Rubisco back to back points, and they are within one. Look at Abby Marano, how she's fired up. She's always fired up. That's <laughs> what you love about yeah. her. She is a spark, definitely. She may not score, but that moral support, that leadership, always there. Pushed by Kalei Mao. One to play for Camille Cal. A rare attempt for her, and Kalei Mao stops that mini two point run by Rubisco. Well, we, well, you mentioned it, uh, Kalemao looking like she's well rested. Because you're, you have an MJ Phillips yeah. to rely on when she's in the back. So you're right, which is a good sign for uh, Choco Mucho. That's true. Misperos. Wong setting a path. Is that a block? Gets yeah. through the block. So if everyone's actually playing well, you can see so many options. Everyone yeah. obviously is an option for Team Chocomucho. You have Baat, MJ Phillips, Kalte Mahom. I mean, it's a strong team. And to think they've got a much shorter lineup than Rubisco, because again, like what we talked about, Kim uh, D and Majoy Baron were loaned to Rubisco at yeah. the start of the tournament. Yeah. Pito is in the game to play defense for Rubisco and giving out defensive instructions. <laughs> Makandiri right there for Choco yeah. Mucho. I was going to say, I like what she's doing. She's really 
Yeah. Yeah. Telling everybody, Give it to move, me. Move, move, <laughs> move, move, move over. Let's not overlap. And Choco Mucho starting to pull away again. And if you're her teammate, I mean, you should feel confident and secure that, okay, she's got my back. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and you listen too. She tells you to yeah. move, move slightly right, you move. Because she knows, she knows what she's talking about. Move slightly right, that's your area of responsibility. I got everything Yeah, I else. got everything <laughs> behind you. Cal, back row attack for Nisperos. Phillips, that's gonna be double contact. Nisperos getting active here in the third set, which is what you want for a team yeah. school. Ribisco playing catch up once again. They're down by two. Paat, push. No, what good a score. save oh. by Mamanyo. Oh. Somebody was in a hurry. A Joy Baron. She tried to get it across on the second touch. No go. What about that defensive stop by Abby Maranyo? Yeah. The middle blockers are getting active. First, in the what, what was that? First set or second set? Del Palomata yeah, played the barrel. <laughs> A dump on the one two play for Camille Cow. Well, she does that. Oh, we've seen her do that a couple of times. And, and she, I mean, uh, she has the physical tools to be successful with that. Well, she's tall, she jumps high, athletic. Because there are some. Setters, obviously smaller, when try, uh, because it, your move is easily telegraphed yeah. because the ball is coming down. The ball was just on the way up when she did that, so. Look pretty. Nice serve. Chocomucho scrambling. Cal to the middle, Majoy Baron, that's picked up by Wong. Back row attack to Mao, who's blocked by oh. Baron, but ball is still alive. Cal, outside to Belen for the tip. Phillips, Cal with the touch. Long rally. Pepito with the set. Belen is rejected, Pepito, that's battle at the net right now, and Phillips putting it away. Well, you have that rare opportunity, a free gift for Andre Phillips, and she will get the point. It's a rare, long rally, by the way, between these two teams. That was a good rally. Helps a lot when you've got a six-footer in front of the net. That's how tall MJ Phillips is. And uses her length also. Yeah. Had a good first ball from Pepito, so to make that, I think it was Nerva. Yeah, I think it was Nerva. Uh, yeah. Rare error on the receive by Nerva. So Coach Jorge Edson Sosa de Brito forced to call another timeout here. I think this is like a you know, deja vu of <laughs> set number two. It was, I think, 14-10 when he called the timeout as well. 14-10, it's a telegraph timeout. Yeah. And the next timeout will be at 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's if it, they do a repeat of the first set, because after the 14-10 of the second set, they got left behind. Yeah, and, and he lost. called the timeout at 20-11, I think. Something like that. <laughs> so. Let's see if there's a different outcome here after that timeout. Because again, we remember what happened in set number two. He got blown out after the timeout at this point in the game. Right. Now a good first ball from Misperos. Is Manabat cross court? Wow. Yes. That was a difficult attack point for her. Yeah, the, the hardest hits are when the set comes from behind from the back row, mm -hmm. like that, for example. So you're trying, you have to time your spike, look at, you know, look at where the ball is gonna go and try to hit it down. 
So a three point game. Good pass. Back row attack. Mao. Yes. Why not give it to her? She gave you a good pass. Here's your gift for <laughs> such a good pass. Only one blocker, such a wide open net for Kalei Mao. Underhand set, Misperos going up, attacking. What a save there. And joust at the net, won by Choco <laughs> Mucho. Wong winning against Misperos at the net. So, second technical timeout, Choco Mucho up by five, 16 11 against Bibisco, set number three. Sixteen eleven, Choco Mucho over Ribisco in the classification match at the 2021 Asian Women's Club Volleyball Championship uh, live on One Sports and One Sports Plus. And this is just your appetizer, ladies and gentlemen, because coming up later, starting at 4.30, we have the semi-final matchup. You're going to get to see Saipa Tehran taking on Alte of Kazakhstan. And then uh, the you know, cherry on the icing. Uh, two Thai teams, uh, Nakhon Ratchasima and Supreme Chonburi. Uh, winner of, of the two semifinal matches, obviously, will go to the finals. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, the clash of the Thai, Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> the clash of the Thailand. Meantime, a block there as Menezes gets a taste of her own medicine. I told you that the, the glare a while ago <laughs> was towards Ria Menezes. Baron serving. Meneses up by Baron. Cal sets it up for Manabat. Her hit slightly softened by the block. Here comes Mao. Cal with the up. Maraño to Nesperos. Wong back to Mao. What a job. What a rally here. Manabat. That's outside. Oh. Well, you see uncharacteristic hitting errors from Manabat in this tournament. But then you, you like, if you're a Choco Mucho fan, you like the way Kalei Mao is just playing yeah. patient volleyball, not just going for a, a tough hit. They're just finding that hole, finding that hole. They are very patient. Manabat in their last game, only 18% from the field. Right. See, the, you know that her percentages are better than that. Nisperos, cross court, that's her specialty. Yeah, that's off a 6 3 blocker in Del Palomata. Wow. Nice to see Faith Nisperos getting her groove already. She yeah. started out a little slow, as we see the usual substitution, the Makulangan Kim B coming in for Manabat and Camille Kao. for a full front row right now. Four-point game. Rubisco playing catch-up again. They've been playing catch-up the entire match. That's true. Palomata, yes! Well, that's a welcome sight for Del Palomata. Finally getting a, a touch, a hand at that, and one blocker, not a problem. Member of the Philippine Air Force. Yeah, 
And then sends it over. Palomata again, back to back points for Del Palomata. Why not? Yep. Well, you like the way Dina Wong is acknowledging no, that, okay, Del Palomata is, has her own high right now that he'll give it to her once more. Place for the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors in uh, the Premier Volleyball League. Scored three points in the loss versus Supreme Chon Buri. There is Aya Laure seeing action for the first time here today. And right on cue, she attacks from the back row. Mao. Oh, good stop. Dimakulangan to Nesperos. Okay, wait a minute. There's a net touch, was it? <laughs> That's the look. That's the look. <laughs> Coach Jorge, you know, trying to give almost all the players a chance to play. Yeah. And uh, Laure gets to see action here in the third set. We haven't seen Hernandez, though. Hernandez hasn't seen action. Oh, the only player, it seems, who hasn't seen action. Well, at least for the disco. Yeah, well, there's at least one more set. That's true. <laughs> Wong goes to Mao. Yes. That explosive yeah. leap right there. While for Choco Mucho, or only Iris Tolenada has not seen action. Everybody else also has seen at least a minute or two on the floor. Still a four, make that a six point lead now for Choco Mucho. 2014, over receive. No timeout. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Belen will play setter for Laure. Macandili with the up, now from the back row, is rejected by Marano. And she'll take that celebration, you know, Marano. <laughs> yeah. Take it as a beautiful defensive play. Yeah, and it's a single block yeah. coverage. That in itself always is a, <laughs> is a victory already. So five point game, 15 serving 20. Nice serve. Phillips. Hand set. Laure. Yes, back to back points for Rubisco. They're on a comeback trail here in set number three. And yeah, they're hoping Ea Laure will be the spark plug. I, like you said, as you were mentioning her name on cue, she got a touch of the ball, a good dig, and now a good kill. USD Tigress, Ea Laure, following in the footsteps of uh, obviously her older sister. Yeah. E.J. Laure, a spot, cuts that run of Rubisco short. Wow, that, that, was, that was spectacular. Look at this angle. First line. They will, that's, what was, that's what people say when it's beyond the attack line. First line. And that's not easy to do if you have blockers in front of you. Yeah. And that was, I think my Joy Baron was one of the blockers yeah. in front. So. What an achievement for Paat in that play. Meantime, Jel Cayuna uh, getting ready to serve. There's the net block for Laure. You can see her arm, her swing, it was low. Was it actually the, the set that she's more comfortable with? Back to a six-point lead for Choco Mucho and another timeout for Coach Jorge. So, same situation for Rubisco Noreen. Find themselves down late in the set. How do they turn it around before it's too late, like when you're in a set point situation well you can see for me really they're passing they're passing is struggling throughout this set so you know it's hard for them like Majoy Baron hasn't gotten too much looks Abi Marano as well no it's always been very predict predictable in uh, Faith Esferos you know going Manabat so I, they really have to work 
hard on that and focus on that if they want to get back into the game. They are just down by, by six. Yep. A much manageable deficit compared to when they were down by 10 yeah. set points earlier. Here's a good rally. Laure. Blocked again. Yeah, that's not going to help there. By her Paul. teammates. Support, well, at least teammates <laughs> from USD, right? I and SS. I don't think they uh, are of the same era. <laughs> No, but it wasn't actually Manessa. She hit low again, Laure. So back-to-back -back unforced errors for uh, Ea Laure. And the lead is seven for Choco Mucho. Reception error. You mentioned this, Noreen. Well, that's going to haunt them. So it's eight set points for Choco Mucho here. 24-16. Uh, coach will always say you, know, you have to have solid ground in terms of when you're putting your arms out to defend. You can see the shank after that. Belen. Phillips looking for the finish. Not just yet, says Nisperos. The back set and a push is good for Kim D. Challenging two blockers there, just playing it smart. So one of eight set points saved by D. Seven more. Over her former teammates. <laughs> Wong. Meneses. D with the up. Back row attack for Nisperos. And yep, two set points saved. And that's a start. You know, all complaining, saying that was a good save. Actually, it seemed like a good save. It seemed like a good save, so that, that's why she's complaining. Again, the call stays. Uh, that, and that stuff you can't challenge. Yeah. Oh! Service reception error for Choco Mucho. And now Coach Oji Mamon is forced to call a timeout. They threw away three set points. He's taking no chances. Really. Of course. All right. Let's see. In the second set, he also called a timeout after they gave up three set points and they finished it on the next play. Uh, let's see if it's you know, kind of like the same. Yeah, I think it's just those timeouts are really just to remind the girls that, hey, let's finish it. Yeah. What are you doing? You're napping. <laughs> Kim D still serving for Rubisco. They didn't even need <laughs> to make a play as uh, D gave him the freebie. So Choco Mucho there won two consecutive sets already in the AVC and they've also got a two sets to one advantage over Ribisco. Yeah, playing obviously a better better game here. After the first set, they came back and won the second and the third. A lot of people contributing, you know, but then it started actually again with good blocking. And then that paved the way for them winning sec the second and the third set. Yeah, it was a more balanced uh, effort from Choco Mucho in the third set. Everybody contributing as we take a look at uh, some of the highlights here. Yeah, there were bright spots for Team Rubisco, you know. Faith Nisperos getting her kills. But they can't just seem to actually play consistent because they are being haunted by their first ball woes. You know, that's one thing we'll say again that they have to work on if they want to push this to a fifth set. Clay Mao, obviously, big factor for Choco Mucho in set number three. Abi Marano with contributions uh, on the attack and defensively, but obviously not good enough as Rubisco falls short again in two straight sets. 
we got to mention Dino Wong doing a great job getting everyone involved, the middles involved. And look at the numbers terms of attacks right now. It's 15 to 11. Errors by one. But still, you know, they lead in terms of blocks. It's less. It's two as compared to the fours. But, yeah, they still, they're able to win the third set. Choco Mucho up two sets to one against Rubisco in the 2021 AVC. Back at Terminal 21 for the classification match between Rubisco and Choco Mucho. Uh, right now, yeah, Choco Mucho with a two sets to one advantage against Rubisco. Winning 25-19 in the third. And looking to finish strong here. And are, are we seeing a four set or Noreen? Uh, obvious, well, obviously it's a four set. We have the fourth set coming but we're, the question is are we seeing a fifth set because the fans <laughs> want a fifth set for sure because they can't get enough of watching these two play against each other but clearly right now because of uh, the way they're playing Choco Mucho has the advantage but Team Rebisco I feel that you know even I was going to talk about Belen Belen has been playing well here in this tournament but so far today not the usual you know she can do better so you want to activate Micaela Belen and give her her numbers. Well, the big question as well uh, for Rebisco is can they stop the likes of Kalei Mao? Can they stop MJ Phillips? Not at that time. Not, <laughs> not at that time. Not in that instance. And you also have to contend with the likes of Paat, the likes of Meneses. Yeah. Wong has been doing a spectacular job getting everybody involved offensively for Choco Mucho. Well, for me right now, Team Chocomucho's confidence is sky high. Yeah. Everyone's scoring at will. If you're Team Rebisco, you have to work also on your blocking. Mm -hmm. One or two stuff blocks, that's, that can change the complexion of the, the game. And Maranyo, I, I believe, really do believe that for Rebisco to get on track, they really need Maranyo. Yeah. Because that spirit, her activity, offensively and defensively, uh, is a vital factor uh, on the success of, of Rubisco. Yeah, I totally agree. But for that to happen, for her to get her kills, really, they have to have good pass so that uh, they can activate the middles. Middles, right. Palomata, the up by Maraño. The back set, there's Kim D. Yeah, and Dimaklan actually starting here in the fourth set. That's true. Uh, different shakeup for Coach. Jorge Edson, and there's another point for Rebisco. Well, that's a good sign, no? That's Belen from the back row. If you can help build her confidence, True. that's going to be good for Team Rebisco. Right now, they're in a must-win situation if they are to finish sixth in the standings. Point awarded to Choco Mucho, there is, is it a net violation? Yeah, I think called on Faith Miss Ferris. We're still coming to you live from Nakon Rachasima. This is the first game of our triple header this Wednesday. Quick ref reflexes at the net by Laxina for the put away. And it's a fine line, I was, I was actually waiting to see what the call is. There's a fine line between that overreaching, at least yeah. in today's match, the calls. So. But yeah, they call it the jet for Ivy Laxina. The 
good save. Yeah. Oh. Wow. What an effort. Half of that point has to be awarded to Dina Wong. Wow. Keeping Getting, it alive. Yeah. But what about that hit by Mylene Pa? That too. I mean, what what an angle. <laughs> If she were a righty, that wouldn't have gone in, I believe. <laughs> she was in the right place at the right time. It depends, too. <laughs> <laughs> Underhand set, back row attack from Mao. Beautiful setup for Belen. Oh, a couple of points now for Belen. Smart, smart tip. Well executed tip. Just sent it above the reach of tall MJ Phillips. Oh, we are tied. Always a close start between these two teams. Uh, let's see if Rubisco can establish some sort of a lead here. Phillips. Ibakulangan. There's Belen attacking and scoring. Well, I think this is the first time we're seeing them lead at this part, at this part of a set. And Belen playing well. Her activity so far paying off, Micaela Belen at a national university. Nisperos with a serve. Over received by Phillips. Yimakulangan, back row attack from Nisperos. Yes! Everything going right for Rebisco right now. Yeah, better start for them. They have been successful actually going to the back row, so why not? Why not go to Faith Nisperos? Two point advantage for Rebisco. What a serve. Phillips, that's outside. Is there a check ball? That's what Minesis was saying. There's going to be a challenge, it seems. Yep. What's it going to be? <laughs> it was uh, outside from Phillips that was the call. So it has to it has to be solid proof. There was a net violation or uh, sorry, a check ball. Yeah, block for touch. that for their for their, for the call to be overturned. We'll see. Right now, everything going the way of Verbisco. Even the calls are going their way. Yeah. The ball, the, you, you can see her follow through really. It was too long. Mm -hmm. Well, what about Verbisco now? Good right. start for them. Three point advantage. Seven serving four. Set number four. Much better received. Phillips, this time around, gets it in. Except for that previous error. Better follow through, better finish. Wow, look at that. And a much obvious flick of the wrist to get that ball uh, down. Five serving seven. Mao, yes. Still being active. Just a one point lead right now for Team Rebisco. But we have to give it to Rebisco. They're passing a lot better here in the fourth yep. set. 
much better start. And and Dimakulangan has been more unpredictable. Yeah. With her distribution. That's true. What a serve. Yeah, just like that, Choco Mucho ties the game at seven. After being down by as many as three points. <laughs> serve. So a chance to take us to our first technical timeout with the lead. Choco Mucho, they must get a stop though. Do they need to? Is there a check ball? Ms. Peros is saying there was. There's a challenge because the call is no, no touch. The call is outside. So uh, this time, coaching staff of uh, Coach Jorge challenging. Well, the coaching staff obviously trusting. <laughs> the opinions of these players the judge my question is as a as a member of the court do you lose trust and equity on these players if they're wrong the first time or the second time do you start to question no 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 I don't think so well I'm sure I'm sure that's that a certain point yeah you because you have limited challenges yeah. I mean if it's very close you give it to the player let's say line call in out and then just, uh, <laughs> few, few inches, you know, that's what I'm saying. But if it's like really far, then you know, what are you talking about? <laughs> you wasted my challenge. <laughs> challenge still underway. We're waiting for the official. Is there an official review? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Wait a minute. So the point was awarded. Shouldn't shouldn't we be at a technical timeout right. here at eight seven? Yeah. Nevertheless, the, <laughs> the play continues. Eight seven in favor of Rubisco. Uh, but uh, Vina Wong ties the game at eight all. Smooth one two three. Look at this. So just as a refresher, the challenge was successful. There was a touch, so that's why the point was awarded to Rebisco, but yeah. now Dina Wong ties the game. Yep. And we didn't have a, our first technical, technical time. time. <laughs> we missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult setup there for Rea Di Makulangan. Mao with a tip. Pancake save, not good. As Choco Mucho inches ahead by 1-9-8. Again, now playing it smart, you know, reading the defense. You, you know, sometimes when you watch players like Kale Mao play, you, you learn that it doesn't seem hard, that hard, you know, when you're, of course, given that everyone's good, no, mm -hmm. in terms of skill-wise. But she's just reading her opponent, yeah. finding the hole, playing it, you know, playing base and volleyball. Good player to actually learn from. And while we were talking about her, she gets a block here. There is a challenge there. The back-to-back -back points for Kalei Mao. Got her game face on. She, she wants to finish this in set number four. Doesn't want to play a fifth set. Of course, you know, it's a grueling, I'm sure it's a grueling week for them. Oh, the yeah. training and conditioning and stuff. So, want to get their... And her, she came from Puerto yeah. Rico. I mean, <laughs> she of all people wants that uh, much needed rest. Nine all, set number four. Now, puts Chocomucho right back on top. She's in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> but what a set and what a finish. Look at that. Just that space was yeah. enough for just the ball to get through. The antenna and the hand of, I think, Kim B. And then off the arm of Mao, yes. Seesaw battle here yeah. in set number four. For that. But the importance of this game really bragging right? Yep. You get to you get to brag about it when they come home. <laughs> Paat 
rejected. Phillips with the up. Paat tries again. There's a tip. Dimakulangan to Nisperos, who's blocked. B with the up. Free ball from Nierva. Candidi to Wong. To Mao. Right smack on the chest of the Libero. Yeah, that, that's frustrating for Nierva because she was actually there. Yeah. But yeah, it was a double touch. Look at this one. One, two. <laughs> but she was there. Yep. I mean, that's just, how frustrating can that be? So one point lead again for Choco Muncho. Close battle here so far, Kim D. Makandili sets up Paat, who's blocked, but it goes outside. Two point lead here for Choco Mucho. And a bit of a stare down there <laughs> by my new Paat. Oh, there. <laughs> Tony, I saw it. <laughs> Mao is in the back row, serving now 12 10. Nisperos. Wong to the middle, Palomata. Dimakulangan back to Nisperos through the block. Oh, what a pass there good from Pai. Nisperos oh. short. And a save there. Yeah. That, that's a great ad lib for both. <laughs> First time I've seen a pass like that as you see the error from Faith Nisperos. Oh, well, she just wanted to keep it alive, obviously. Time out here. On by Rubisco, they're down by three. I was waiting for the 14 pets. Identical situation from the last two sets. Choco Mucho with momentum, a timeout by Rivisco. Similar stage. Let's see if it's going to be a different outcome, though, for Rivisco as uh, Del Palomata and Choco Mucho, they have control of offense and defense here. It's the same author. <laughs> Good serve. Better pass, though. Misperos. Yes! Peros has been getting a chunk of the offense of Rubisco. This time around, though, it pays off. Okay, the Makulangan giving them confidence, talking about the youngsters. Peros again on Del Palomata once again. So back to back points for her. And from down three, they are within one. Yeah, what a hit there. What a dive from Makandili. Phillips, yes! Found an opening right in the middle. Yeah, off speed. Recognizing that hole there in the center of Team Disco. Okay, so it's 14-11 in favor of Choco Mucho. Palomata serving. Paat. Whoa. Yes! Give the assist to Ria Meneses. Great set. Palomata is serving. At straight in the corner from Laxina. 
Yeah, Latina was quiet in that third set. That's yep. what you want her also to get her numbers. Well, Cal is back in the game. Still a three-point lead for Choco Mucho. Well, they want to trim this lead, obviously. Good serve. Phillips. A dig by Cal. Free ball. Choco Mucho Wong to Phillips again. Yes, MJ Phillips will take us to our second technical timeout here. Take another look at the action. MJ Phillips against Manabat, no less. Uh, 16 11, Choco Mucho over. Rubisco set number four. Back here at Terminal 21 for the classification match between Rubisco and Choco Bucho. Uh, right now, the ladies in blue with a chance to close it out in this set, and they are in a good position, up by four. Things looking good for them. Talk about Choco Bucho. And an over-receive makes it a five-point lead now. Uh, coming off that technical timeout. Like you don't want to see if your team repeats go again, adding to to the woes, the yep. recep reception woes. That was Belen, by the way, with a receive error. Let's see if Paat goes back to Belen. We've seen Belen yeah. be the target of these services. Well, they sub Belen out and bring in Galanza. Phillips. Yes. Choco Mucho right on cue. Noreen, they are pulling away at the exact same stage they pulled away in the last two sets. I told you the same author. <laughs> no, but, you know, really, they're just making it look easy, yeah. smooth volleyball, just going to the opposite hitter, uh, the outside hitters, the wing hitters, and why not? You yep. know, they're effective. Why change it? Obviously, defense of the disco, the blocking is not there. Although, much better received that time around. They get to set up Luxina for the dump. Take a look. Yeah. Good combination there. I mean, good connection there. Thirteen serving eighteen. Could be the final set for these ladies if they don't shape up and tie this game up. Meneses it's dug tough. up by Nierva. Back row attack from Nisperos, blocked by Phillips. Four touches, but apparently the, the ball didn't cross the net. There's a review though. A challenge by coach Jorge Edson Sosa de Brito. Yeah, the, the challenge is blocked touch. Mm -hmm. But, well, when we saw that, actually, it looked like it did not go over. So, we'll see. So, are they going to... The question is, are they going to replay the point? Because the call was four touches that it didn't cross the net, but the ball was still alive. No, th they won't replay the point. It will be... It will depend on this challenge. So, it's a block touch. Challenge successful. Oh, correct. It hit... It did hit MJ Phillips's hand. So yeah, because their challenge is successful, they get the point. Automatic. Yeah, okay. regardless of what the referee called, it's what the challenge is. So the point goes to Rubisco. So it's 
going to be, instead of 1912, it's going to be 1813 now. Good challenge then. Yeah, <laughs> paid off. Right, because that would really turn the match around. Meneses, it's dug up by Mao. Here comes Phillips. Block! Excellent defense at the net by Manabat and Laxina. That's a tall wall right there. But finally for me, Team Ribisco finally getting a stuff block. And, you know, they're hoping to get momentum here in this fourth set with that because yeah. stuff blocks can do good for momentum and confidence. So instead of Chocomucho pulling away, this is already a two-point run right. for Ribisco. Two-point swing. Good receive. Phillips again. This time it goes outside off the block. Choco Mucho stops that mini run of Ribisco. Yeah, you like the adjustment made by Phillips. She was blocked earlier. So she actually angled her hip and used the blocker's hand. Hitting it off the blocker. Oh, but Phillips with a wayward serve. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. So a four-point game. And can really still go either way here oh, in set number four. Yeah, and Gemma Galanza get the... Uh, Gets a shot in the front. One-handed save by Misperos. Easy over for Laxina. Wong goes to Meneses. Manabat into the block, and she scores three-point game. Yeah, slowly but surely, Team Ribisco creeping in this match, in this set at least. Wong goes to Mao. Yes, Kalei Mao. There's so much power there. Put some separation between them and Rubisco with a four point advantage. Yeah, you know, it's obvious though, know, when they need to score, they go to Kalei Mao. Of Del Cayuna back to serve for Choco Mucho. Oh, good serve. Good serve. Wow. What a time for the ace to come, too. Beat is five for Choco Mucho, and they only need four to win the match. <laughs> Look at that reaction. Yeah, but you know, that, that serve was big because Team Rebisco is knocking at Chocomucho's door and uh, what a time to get an ace serve. Manabat, the up by Paat. They go to Mao. Cal with a save. Manabat again. Over received by Mao. Marano sends it back. Dump by... Palomata, there is a whistle, make that a bell. Stopping the play, there's coach, assistant coach George Pasco saying there's a net fault here by Rebisco. <laughs> Coaching staff, very busy with the challenge. Somebody from the coaching staff, Choco Mucho, they've got really sharp vision. I, I yeah. didn't even notice that. Let's see, it, it's a big payoff if they're correct. That that will give them a six-point lead, which is yeah. as close to insurmountable as you can get at this point of the match. A more comfortable yeah. cushion. Let's see. Yep, there oh. was there was a touch. <laughs> wow. 
kudos to whoever made the call because that's an amazing, just amazing vision. Ever so slightly. Yeah. Wow. So six point lead for Choco Mucho. Very crucial stage of the set. Let's see how, you know, obviously, that's how serious these, uh, these, these teams are. No, yeah. no room for freebies and stuff. We challenge what we have to challenge, everything legit. You know, we like that. It's going to be a free ball for Choco Mucho. Back to Mao. Kale Mao connects. And it's a seven point lead for Choco Mucho. They only need two to seal the win. Our best player of the game, Kale Mao. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's been active, an active duty from the start, although they lost the first set. But what a performance, second, yep. third, and here in the fourth. Time out here by Coach Jorge Edson Sosa de Brito. They are obviously you know, on dangerous ground right now, Rubisco. After winning set number one, it's been all downhill from there. Yeah, and for Chocomucho, you're just two points away. Kalei Mao, our best player of the game. Excellent performance today. Although it wasn't solely her, there yeah. were so many contributions as well. Uh, MJ Phillips, we talk about how she stepped it up in the second set. Maria Meneses, her offense from the middle and her blocking as well. Uh, so Dina many. Wong. Dina Wong. Yeah. Um, Del Palomata. My, obviously, Mylene Paat as well. There is a point from Manabat, but they've been few and far between for the Bisco. Yeah, well, they just couldn't really play consistently. They couldn't pass consistently. So those are the struggles. So they can't seem to get their momentum going. Okay, sorry for the technical um, issue we encountered, uh, but we're back. Match point here for Choco Mucho, 24-17. And just, we came back uh, right on cue. Uh, we get an ace from Dina Wong. And what a finish for Choco Mucho in the 2021 Asian Women's Club Volleyball Championship. They get a W, yeah. obviously, Bittersweet against another Philippine team in Rubisco, but uh, they finish out strong. Yeah, and then lessons learned for me. They came in with the objective for exposure and for and to learn. And the most important thing is if you meet your objective. And obviously they have moving forward or planning in their planning for future tournaments and you know what's going to happen to the national team. So these are the positives that you can take away from this tournament. Again. Both teams were hastily put together. They are not technically official club teams in the country. They're just adopting commercial names yeah. to participate in a club tournament. But what uh, performance they put together despite uh, those shortcomings. Yeah, and all, we also have to mention the challenges that these teams have gone through with all the, the COVID scares and the false positives. And, you know, you know a lot of challenges, but you know, they're still able to join the tournament, play, you know, get Rebisco got a set. And now Chocomucho wins the match. But we, we want to, we're happy with uh, their performance That's and right. again, the improvement throughout the tournament. Rebisco, they won at least two sets in this tournament. One from Zeti Su of Kazakhstan and the other, the first set against Chocomucho. This was a classification match to determine uh, sixth and seventh places in this seven-team tournament 
and Choco Mucho after not winning a set in the entire you know preliminaries and in the quarterfinals they win three straight here yeah. against uh, Rabisco yep and what an opportunity for the youngsters we keep saying True. of uh, team Rabisco Miss Ferris at all you know these players you're just you can't help but just feel excited for their future and what coach Jorge has in store for them even for Choco Mucho but I guess it's really just being excited for the program, the, the new program, and we want to see it evolve. Veterans and, uh, you know, young talent, they work together beautifully in uh, their exposure here at the 20, uh, 2021 Women's ABC. And we may not have come out on top of the tournament, but again, I mean, this is, you know, a learning experience yeah. for many of the future talent of uh, women's volleyball in the Philippines. Yep, they just, you know, the fans, you just have to be patient because that's why we keep saying, you know, there are objectives to be met, there are plans, there, that's the system and we just want to trust the system. But we just want to support these girls, whoever the composition of the teams may be, a lot of people hoping Jaja and whoever can be part of the team, maybe in the future we will see, but so far we want to give it to these girls who joined this this tournament and you know played for country so that wraps up our uh, coverage of the classification match between uh, two philippine teams rubisco and choco mucho uh, we do have the semifinals coming up later a couple of matches uh the, the kazakhs versus uh the iranians and then two thai teams later on in the day 4 30 and 7 30 respectively but again we look at some of the highlights of this four set win by Choco Mucho over Rubisco. And we were talking about this at the start of the match, like are, are, are these girls gonna take it easy against one another? But with the way with, with the way they played and how the coaches, their substitution patterns and their challenges too. Yeah. I mean, they, they really wanted to come out on top of the other here. Yeah, I mean, when they're out on court, no sister team, <laughs> you know? I mean, you're out there to win. Athletes are always out there to win. And uh, Choco Mucho just played a better game of course, led by Kalei Mao, MJ Phillips, and, and the rest of the team. Everybody played solid, and obviously they were here to win, and mm -hmm. they got the victory. Obviously, Dina Wong, what a spectacular job getting yeah. everybody involved offensively. And obviously, um, it was sad we didn't see Iris Tolinada, who played a, an excellent match, uh, especially in the last two sets versus Supreme Chonburi in the quarterfinals on Monday. Would have loved to see her today, but again, Dina Wong just played an excellent game from start to finish. Yeah, that's true. But if you're an Irish Talanada fan, just watch yesterday, the other day's game. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd be proud of her and be happy. Yeah, just to close the numbers here, Choco Mucho in terms of attacks led. And this, this is all about as a whole. Choco Mucho just played a, a better game. Well, that wraps it up again uh, for us uh, with the coverage of the classification match. Choco Mucho will finish with 1-3 in the standings. Meanwhile, uh, Rabisco will drop down to 0-5 uh, oh for Noringo. I'm Eric Tepan. Thanks for watching our coverage of the 2021 ABC on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Right.